All right, I'm gonna make a pancake sheath for a four and one eighth inch trapper knife. Just a classic little design. These things have been around forever. Uh, lots of people make them, but how can you not love them? I'm gonna use an eight to nine ounce natural vegetable tan side that I got from Weaver, and this is uh, by Herman Oak. This was a full side, but I cut it down into a few smaller pieces to make it more manageable while I take it over to the clicker press. I've honestly been wondering what to do with this leather. I unboxed it and I cut a little piece off to just do some testing and see what it was like. And it was basically like trying to cut through concrete or like a two by four. Um, not a single blade in the shop I had could do any justice on this stuff. And I thought maybe I was going crazy and I've been reading up on some different forums on leatherworker.net uh, to see if anybody else had any issues. It sounds like when you're ordering Herman Oak, every now and then you might get a hide that's like this. And it's hard to complain because this is the most dense quality leather I've ever used in my life. It actually, it has no stretch to it. The flesh side is so tight, it almost looks like it was gum pasted and finished, but it's not. This is just a dry split. And uh, this is really quality stuff. I tried cutting a couple belt straps out of it and broke two blades. So the good news is I have a clicker die made for our little pancake sheath and I'm just gonna click through these cause there's no way in hell I'm using a knife to cut every one of these things out. But with that being said, I do have the pattern for sale down in the description. So if you'd like to pick it up, uh, you'll have much better luck if you're just using basically any other hide in the world. You should be able to cut it out. So I'll be using a clicker, but this is a really easy piece to cut out if you're doing it on your own. Oh, also, I'm going to be sewing this up on my Cobra Class 3 harness stitcher, but um, I think it goes without saying you can always hand stitch this stuff as well if you don't have the equipment. This is just how I like to do it.